Right, now to cut back on expenses and to make the baseboard a wee bit not so deep, I've made some of the containery under there myself. I'll show you some photos of doing that um, at the end of this short clip. Okay. I've been into my spare parts and I found this little bit of uh, 60s containery and I have made that just there as I said in an earlier earlier on that there's going to be an open space there. I've used some of uh, K and S I think it is brass tubing and I've just run that wire around there. Not seen but it's functional and it will actually if I ever wanted to um, well that would throw the signalling system out but uh, I could actually run the trains using that wire I've done that on my N-gauge one and it, it works so as I say this is the old 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s I think it was the old Marklin stuff very robust then for some strange reason they went probably financial Things. They went and got um, what well, looks very much similar to this one. It's a lot lighter, a uh, bit, bit more probably prototypical for size, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I like the old stuff. The old stuff was was the good old quality German stuff. Well, this is still German, but it's it's more scaled down, I think is the best way to put it. Ah, oh, no, I don't really like it. But, you know, I'm a grumpy old man, so I'll get used to it. Now I've got to go from this point here with the containery all the way down to the way down to the other end of the station. And you can see it there. Oops, I can hold it steady. And through the yards. <sighs> yeah, not looking forward to that. Not looking forward to that at all. I loved watching those pantographs move up and down. On one of my earlier layouts, I deliberately had one pole high, one low, so that pantograph would bounce up and down. And of course, that's very frowned upon in real life. Right, I've now put the roadway in uh, because I'm sort of pushed for space I've joined it there and I'm going to have a single lane down through the township behind the station it loops around under the overbridge there and will come back and then split back out into two traveling on the road wire there Right, we'll see what happens if I try a bus. And I turn the thing on.
bit wibbly wobbly. I was sort of not very steady this morning with my hands putting that groove in. And down the other side, about this point here, it will pass a vehicle. Grab it before it runs away. Turn it off. Uh, the road will continue down back here passing under a, a bridge that will be there it will climb up loop around that block of shops there and come back around there'll be a station where those cars are parked that will come back down so you have two vehicles there and they'll cross hopefully somewhere in this area here Back in of October 2013. And we've just been sort of mucking around on the where the town's going to go along there, putting the curbing in. Got to buy the buildings yet, but I've got bits of cardboard there that represent buildings. Um, I've been splashing a bit of paint on the wall, but not very good. I've seen it working my way along. Little area there, and then I'm waiting on goods to arrive for uh, put a bridge in there, uh, and then replace that turn out and some of the track up here. Another bridge to go in there, and then all that yard will be replaced for this little top town. It's all just set up there with old track, just so I knew what to order. Um, there'll be a station building in that square spot there. The road will come around up the hill there. The it will come around along the front there, around that building and along the back. I would like to put a two shed, a two stall, sorry, roundhouse just in here to store my uh, steam engines that I've got and to have a couple on here and so I'm just sort of thinking about that at the moment nice little uh, factory not too sure what it's going to be at the moment might even make it a, a cement factory or something like that and then basically that's about it uh, until we have another bit more action on the place and get a bit more done, we'll catch you then. You probably heard that, but there's a terrible join back there somewhere. I obviously cut the track too short.